Now you can be among the people that are going to be selected despite your age, despite your qualification. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to the Canada Info channel. It's me, your girl Wolo. If you are a new subscriber or a new follower, the first thing I'll ask you to do is to give me a thumbs up and then click the subscribe button for updates concerning immigration to Canada, life in Canada, immigration to anywhere. I am warming up to talking about immigration to any country. And for all my OGs, my old subscribers, thank you so much for sticking with me. Thank you so much for <laughs> not forgetting this channel. And thank you so much for coming back um, every week to check um any information i upload to this channel okay so you've seen the title it's no longer news that um the government is working towards establishing the rural and northern immigration program as a permanent program it was um it was a pilot that started in 2019 and i remember then when they made the announcement i did a lot of research concerning the pilot i talked about the pilot i talked about all the communities if you don't know rnip is called rural and northern immigration pilot and 11 communities were selected for this pilot to test to see um number of people they can give permanent residency who are living in these communities or who would want to stay in these communities and according to the immigration minister they want to make it a permanent program now i am very excited because um, at least i know some of my community members, about three to four of them got permanent residency status from this particular program and I'm excited that they want to make it a permanent program which means more people will be able to get PR status from this program. Now the 11 communities are um, located in some parts of Canada, not all parts of Canada, Ontario, Manitoba, Alberta, Saskatchewan and British Columbia. And out of all these provinces, um, Ontario has the highest, which is five communities, and then the others two. British Columbia has two communities, Manitoba has two communities, Alberta has just one community, and then Saskatchewan has one community as well. I'm very familiar with the program such that I created lots of videos concerning this pathway for all the communities. They are part of my old videos which I intend to renew as I go on this year. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be talking about them in more details and how you can take advantage of immigration through the RNIP. This program is actually beneficial to people who are very much more matured. Um, you know you can't go through the express entry route. You know you don't have good scores with IELTS. It is beneficial to you, especially if your occupation is in demand in any of the communities. And if you recall, I did a live video one time where I invited one of my guests. She came to Canada through this program and she became a permanent resident while she was in Canada. She She's actually in Manitoba in one of the communities and she talked about the strategies with which she used in getting a job offer um, in one of the RNIP communities that made her become a permanent resident. And yeah, it was a live video. You could check one of my, I'll link it. I'll put the link in the description box as well so that you can watch this video so that I can adopt the strategies as well. Now, besides RNIP becoming um, a permanent program, there are two other programs that they are going to launch in the fall of this year. Um, just before I proceed, the RNIP becoming a permanent program will be towards the end of this year. That's towards fall. Of this year same thing with the two other programs that they talked about so one of them is the rural community immigration pilot and then the second one is the francophone community immigration pilot so two more programs will be launched towards the end of this year now the details about these programs is yet to be announced this ju they just made the announcement preliminary announcement about this program but from what i can say if they are saying rural community immigration pilots francophone community immigration pilot it means that it will be tied to a job offer i have been saying it in my channel there are if you cannot come in through the express entry route which is score based and does not require a job offer the other route that you can come in through is actually the job offer route which means you have to search for a job in any of these communities now because they've not announced which of the communities will be eligible for these new pathways 
the only thing I can talk about is actually the Francophone Community Immigration Pilot. So for the Francophone Community Immigration Pilot, it is going to be targeted at Francophone people. People can speak French, people can communicate in French. And I want to uh, use this opportunity to let you know that if you've not started learning French, this is the best time to start learning French now. Because they are tilting towards making more French people immigrate to Canada. So it's going to benefit you um, on the long run. And there are programs, enough programs online that you can use to learn French for free. I know some people like to want people want a structured way of learning French while some people don't mind learning French randomly. So if you are among the people who want a structured way of learning French, I have a French tutor that you can um, work with to learn French within the next six months that can make you able to write the TEF exam or the TCF exam that you would use to immigrate to Canada. Now, there are lots of opportunities under the French immigration, lots and lots of opportunities. And I've been saying this, I am also bilingual and I know that when it comes to me getting job offers, it's because a lot of the jobs that open up for me is because of my um, being bi bilingual, although my French is rusty. <laughs> Although my French is rusty, but I am working towards polishing it. This past few years, I've not been speaking French, but I'm working towards polishing my French. But what I'm trying to say is this, that you have an opportunity of learning French within six months that would help you write the French exam, that will help you be immigration ready or like the, that will help you get that will help you with any of the immigration pathways or lots of the immigration pathways that is tilted towards French. The government is trying to prioritize French language and because of that, they want to bring in more people who are speaking French. And if you look at the Express Entry draw scores recently, you will see that anything that has to do with the French category has always been very, very low compared to the normal Express Entry draw scores, which is about 540 and above. So if you are matured this is for people who are matured matured candidates between the ages of 35 40 45 and um you are struggling with getting an immigration pathway you cannot afford to come to canada as a student you cannot afford to establish a business in canada you cannot have the time or you do not have the time to search for a job the next best thing you can do is to start learning french I mean, these are the options. There is no, even if you book a consultation with me, there is no magic except you have some other, um, other, you have some other skills that we can critically look at and analyze which one is suitable for you. What I would say is this, it is better for you to start learning French. If you need somebody or if you need a tutor, a French tutor, it's going to be a virtual class. If you need a virtual tutor that can accommodate your time, um within the next six months for you to learn French, please send an email to hello at caninfoconsult.com and i'll connect you with this tutor so that you can start learning french and before fall so fall is september let's count it if you start learning french from april may june july august september it's already six months by september so um, fall is in september and that's when they'll announce the communities by fall you should be ready to write the exam and you write the exam the exam you get your results you are ready it means that you're already preparing yourself ahead before they even make the announcement in fall on which communities that are eligible for the francophone um, immigration pilot so because they will still announce the committees that will be eligible for the rural committee immigration pilot i don't know those communities yet but i'm telling you to prepare yourself so that you can be now you can be among the people that are going to be selected despite your age despite your qualification despite your language qualifications in english let's say you get a very low scores in ielts or selpip french will be a game changer for you so this is me telling you now and begging you to get ready to start preparing to start learning french it's a it's a financial commitment that i feel is much more affordable than every other pathway the other pathways that they would announce that that's the rural community immigration pilot even the rnip they all have to do with job search and if you cannot find a job and in most cases, most of the jobs that they are looking for are jobs that are actually in demand. So let's say you are a lawyer. You cannot get a job as a lawyer in Canada. Let's say you are um, a banker. You cannot get it. It's hard, you hardly get jobs as a banker uh, in Canada, you know. But the only thing that can help you break that barrier of occupation in demand is actually French language. 
French language is the only thing that can break the barrier of having to be in an occupation in demand. And you need to learn French. You need to invest your time to learning the language that can help you break that barrier, that can help you immigrate, that can even boost your portfolio and boost your career such that by the time you're coming into Canada, you have a skill that people or the employers are looking for that will give you an advantage over others. So this is me saying that the best time to start learning French is now. If you're interested, like I said, please send an email to hello at canifoconsult.com and I will link you up with the tutor that will help you learn French within six months and make you prepare to actually immigrate despite your age, despite your qualifications, despite your language scores. French is the only language that can break that barrier for you. So yeah, I hope I've not spoken too much in this video. Thank you so much for watching and please share this video to people who would need the information that would help them strategize to immigrate to Canada. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.